Mr. Linda Masse, please bring back the Range Rover. Because, you know, the former wife of the very same boyfriend you are having, Zidambe, well, the wife says she doesn't have a car because of you. So she's requesting, it's not me, she's saying, please bring back the car, the Range Rover. Hey, how should be a about the guys I call. Hey, ladies, I want to hear from you. There's this engineer. She is um, of a Kosa tribe in South Africa. She paid her lobola and she says, no, I paid my lobola. And I'm not even feeling any pain for that. You know what I'm saying? Nevertheless, we're not in Kaya, guys. I, she's doing the most when it comes to parenting. I, she's doing the most. Hey, I don't want to talk about certain people here. I, mm -mm. But yeah, she's doing the most. Nevertheless, again, we will dive into that one. I just hope and wish that you do subscribe, like the video, comment in the comment section below. As uh, doing that, doing that, it does help out a lot when it comes to the YouTube algorithm. Now, uh, the wife or the former wife of um, Sidambe was look as quoted by Isande World. At first, she stated that no. Um, when the article begins, she begins by telling us about her credentials. She says, I am the CEO of Macam, um, Malight um, as a most reliable beauty specialist platform that has created job opportunities for those in the beauty space or to get at every little cost of their businesses. Now, yeah, she continues because that's not where we are today. And she continues to get to give, uh, that's the context of how successful she is, but she still won the Range Rover. It's so funny anyway. But nevertheless, she says that the accusation regarding this GD, regarding his jealousy and incentive with me working in the political private office with my boss, who is a prominent politician, brought too much tension in our marriage. That is the sight of who Oh, Mary Jane, you know, see, damn, that was the problem of her marriage. Nonetheless, yeah, she was working with this person who is actually a politician. Now, she goes on to say, yeah, um, uh, those accusations has actually is the actually uh, reasons why her marriage almost ended. Now, she said, not almost, it's ended, in fact. Uh, in the statement, yeah, uh, Gokuyo Isande, what she continues to say, as stated elsewhere in an affidavit, the Range Rover autobiography that was given to me as a gift was snatched away from me by name, withheld, and given to his girlfriend to use. He's actually vindictively took my car away from me and gave it to Ndamasa to use. And I do not have a vehicle to use. I need that Range Rover. Bring back that Range Rover. <laughs> Should we protest and say, I, I'm just imagining Jay, people are protesting. Hey, Shep, bring back the Range Rover. Bring back the Range Rover. <laughs> Okay, okay, as she led, as she led, as she led, guys. This is, okay, ladies, I wanna hear from you guys. Um, You know, it's, it's a norm, but things are changing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if we are talking about feminism and all the stuff, we are talking of equality. And if, in the interest of equality, we are being told that what a man can do, a woman can do. So I think as well what uh, a woman, what, what, look, in the same note, I think we should be saying that women are allowed to pay their own lobola as well. So this woman says that, no, I paid my own lobola because my husband couldn't afford it and I'm not the first woman to do it. Anyway, and I think I concur with the fact that she is not the first woman to do it, right? Um, as we know, um, Owami, she also confessed to have done the same thing. But you know, getting married following tradition always, uh, look, getting married following a tradition always has um, has been so scary to me as a little girl. We always have a dream of a dream of one day I will go through the journey and also get to uh, be part of my sister's cousin's wedding and all this stuff she continues to say here i am an engineer and my husband is a producer we dated for almost nine years before tying the knot and i am of a closer background and my parents have made it uh, made it clear that they are going to request a hefty amount of law bowler because i am engine i am an engineer with three qualifications and one of them being uh from an international acclaimed university so i always knew law bowler would be a thing and I basically had to had no choice right now giving you this background again this lady she says again 
when my husband and i decided on getting married i didn't want to put much pressure on him and on our finances taking out a loan was was Definitely uh, taking a, a loan for Lobola for my Lobola was definitely not an option, especially because he still has two weddings to plan. To add on that, the economy we are currently living in is quite challenging. Not to mention how the pandemic has affected or affected all in different ways, right? So uh, this lady, you no, know, um, just in short and simple, this lady, you know, she she state all these reasons and say that um, I decided to pay my own. This is actually an article captured by the um, News 24. She says, no, I paid for my Lobola. So I want to know from you ladies, how do you feel about that? Right. Um, but for me, guys, I honestly don't see anything wrong about this. It's just that yeah, women, they like to benefit from the feminism as much as it benefits them. But as soon as it doesn't benefit them, then it's wrong. For instance, women want to be in the working space and want to get the benefit of being independent and work for themselves. But when they have to take responsibility, then it's no longer good. No, culture. Now they start to say culture, but the same culture that they criticize when the culture tells them to stay at home, be a, a stay at home wife, they don't want that culture. That culture is patriotic, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like um, if we are to follow the true cause of feminism, uh, what we have just spoken about today, it's exact it's exact definition of what feminism feminism will bring to the world will bring the world of equality a world where if a woman is working and the man is not working and the woman will marry the husband for herself and that's the world of equality at the end of the day because if we are able to break certain norms uh, that our forefathers uh, left us with then we should be able to break the norm of lobola as well we shouldn't be saying but what will our ancestors say is what uh, what does your ancestors say when you are now working because maybe before they die you were not women are not working so you know what i'm saying so there's quite unfairness in terms of that but nevertheless we are not there today let's go into he's very much proud of of his sons that has been that has turned 18 years on when she wrote on social media sitting here in front of me i can't believe you are 18 Daddy and I did it. You are happy, beautiful, and uh, and yours. I love you up to God now. Go. Four days later, we almost lost you, but God and Namanyange said, I never. Nesi, loko nesi, nesi, uti niga nesi. You said, Mom, I'm 18 now. You don't have to protect me anymore. I can't protect myself. You don't have to. I can protect myself. You don't have to hide my face anymore. Oh, okay. This child couldn't wait to be on social media anyway. Let's just say that you are so much fascinated. Thank you for your for thank you for making me grow up and I have a purpose. Thank you for being for being who you are to Mbo Thank you for your for, thank you for being a true testimony to Daddy and uh, Daddy's love and um, uh, PS Daddy is still a tailor taller than you. That's all she continues to say. I don't know what you say about that guys. Um, the only way for me to know it is for you to get into the comment section below. You're gonna get into the comment section below. You're gonna tell me what you think about everything that I've just told you today. And for me, you guys will meet on the next video. But until the next video, please take care.